Welcome back. It is a business move that could forever change the economy here in Milwaukee. It will impact beer lovers all over the world, but nothing is final as of yet. Yona Gavino joins us tonight to explain this tentative deal between SAB Miller and InBev. Steve, earlier today, I got a chance to actually talk with a local brewery as well as a couple of Miller Coors employees to see how exactly this big merger affects them. It appears an agreement has been reached that will combine Miller and Budweiser. I asked Mayor Tom Barrett what this means for operations in Milwaukee. I don't think it's inconceivable at all that Miller Coors could be spun off from this, which may in effect have a better impact on the city of Milwaukee if it brought more jobs here. Miller Coors employees have heard the rumors of the beer buyout, but aren't worried about their jobs. We really haven't heard anything about it, so I mean, just kind of emails here and there. So I mean, Today we'll probably be here or something. It didn't say really too much. They, they're going to, you know, tell us if anything else happens, but uh, just work as, as normal. Because the company is so big, it could impact consumer choice. That might cause some regulatory concerns in the U.S. Over at Milwaukee Brewing Company, Jim McCabe says consolidation is the next phase of the industry. He thinks it's still too soon to see if this is good for Milwaukee. They are the icon of, of brewing in Milwaukee, so um, there's, a, there's a symbolic thing with our heritage and what beer means to Milwaukee. Miller is going to be a strong presence here no matter what. I mean, this is an important part of the brand, and uh, brewed in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is going to be on their packaging for a long time. And all of this is not yet quite final, yet InBev still has about two weeks to come up with a formal offer. Live in Milwaukee, Yona Gavino, today's TMJ4. Okay, and we'll keep everybody posted. Thank you, Yona.